that is an Ultra Match Fire Strike. Many people don't consider it the big kahuna. But it's not to be overlooked. Unlike a Bird of Prey, which is twice as long, and has twice as much air, and has more power, this one's actually very, very efficient for what it does. It's pen-loaded, and it's uh, based off of the first um, Ultra Match I ever built. Now, put in mind, the Ultra Match was not really built for competition to begin with. <clears throat> it actually was built for annoying people in movie theaters, pelicans, raccoons, um, people that just annoy me, um, missionaries, that sort of thing, okay? But when I first played an HVZ, a modded Fire Strike, which was right after the Fire Strike had actually come out, I got 26 hits in one round. And it started a movement towards going more towards pistol. Um, and I started to realize that I actually battled over with pistol than I do with clip feds or air guns or rifles or anything else. So, let's see how this performs. As you can see, it's got the uh, orange works. Um, it's got the orange Modworks uh, kit in it, plus it's got 21 kilograms and five and a quarter inches of Ultra Match barrel. 81, 181, sorry, 181, 185. 191. Now, those are the lighter V2 X starts. Let's throw some V3s in there. Let's go high, low, medium, average. So the average with the V2s is 185. That's about average for this blaster. Now, 181. That's about average for this blaster. Now, let's go V2 X starts. Let's see what we get. They're, of course, bigger and heavier darts. Um, they're going to be slower, but let's see. One seventy one. One seventy four. One eighty three. One seventy six. I had a one seventy six uh, foot per second average. I only lost nine feet per second average on darts that are far significantly heavier and have usually far more significant deviation of range. Now, let me take the darts, the same darts. Now let's fire it out of a bird ray L, and you'll see much more of a different spread. Okay, bird of prey L. It's much more bigger of a blaster. It's more robust. It's got a larger plunger tube. It's got much more power, and it's accurate enough for a scope. <clears throat> it has to be taken down to be put in a coat pocket and left without its wings, which is my own personal preference, but I do like the wings. It's kind of my calling sign. <clears throat> You're being attacked by one of the flock, sort of thing. And the bird of prey was named it because, one, because of the wings, but two, because it is, in fact, an assassin tool. It, it, it is a bird of prey. It is to hunt you down. That's what it's for. As you, but as you can see, an Ultra Match Fire Strike versus a bird of prey L. It's lighter, it's smarter, it's a lot of things. It's a, it's a, a much better sidearm pistol because it just doesn't, you know, doesn't have a problem. Now, let's do the same test with the Berta Proyel. The exact same velocity test. The same six darts. This has locking lugs and a coupler and a lot of things that the 
that the fire strike doesn't have. But the fire strike is better in one thing. It's compact, it's small, and it's extremely reliable. And also less deviation of range. 254 feet per second. I know, these, are, these, these next three shots are just going to blow your socks off. 254. 235. And let's see here. On the line and 260. So 260 feet per second. And put in mind, that's enough to launch one of these darts almost two feet. Now, let's pull out the um, these ones. Now, put in mind, even with the lower range, lower power, I do want to emphasize that the uh, V2s are bigger in a lot of ways. Not just the length dimension, but the frontal area as well. They do get more range, despite it being slower. So, the average for the vertebrae was 249 feet per second, almost 250. And believe it or not, that 230-ish was quite a fluke. Usually I don't see... Yeah, that 235 was a fluke. Usually I don't see a 235 out of this thing. The 235 is probably a damaged dart. So the average is usually 255, 260. I've gotten the average of 270 on this, but that's only when I'm really working it. Okay, now we're going to go version 3 darts. Two twenty-five. That's normal. That's a normal reading. Two twenty-seven. And Shot 230, giving me an average of 227 feet per second. Hold on, 227 feet per second. So we went from a 246 average to a 227, nearly 20 feet per second of deviation. Okay, normally when I do this test, it's in the 250s. Uh, so there's usually 20 30 feet per second deviation. This blaster, with its heavier weight, had only 9 feet per second of deviation. From 185 feet per second average to 176 feet per second average. That's great. And one of the reasons for it is because uh, it's, it's, it's a very high pressure blaster. Um, so it doesn't, it's a heavier weight. It doesn't have as much back pressure um, drag out of it, is what I'm thinking. The heavier darts, for some reason, drag on the barrel more, but I don't know. It's going to take a little more research to figure out why this one only has 9 deviation, feet per second deviation. And I have actually done some side-by-side -side tests where this didn't have any. It was 180 and 180. But as you can see today, the V2s were faster and the V3s were slower than 180. But... Um, it, it's much more consistent, as you can see. And flat out, this thing shoots between uh, about 155 to 165 feet flat, which, out of a pistol, is impressive. But if you really want to bag the big ones, of course you get a bird ray. Or you make one. Ta-ta.